Meghan Markle should be awarded an Oscar for her unmatched display of narcissism, a journalist has said in a scathing attack. Sophie Ellsworth slammed the Duchess over her recent Netflix series Harry and Meghan. The brutal assessment of Meghan comes after the royal was branded one of the top narcissists of 2022 in a scathing opinion piece published in Politico. Speaking of Meghan during a Sky News Australia discussion, Ms Ellsworth said, she should win a female Oscar for her narcissism, she is a shocker. That series she put out with Harry was shocking, it was a pile on on the royal family. This woman makes money out of trashing the royal family. She continued, we've got that book spare coming out from Harry in a couple of weeks time. We've had the podcast, the TV series and now we've got the book. People are getting sick and tired of their soft story while they live in their plush mansion overseas. Prince Harry's memoir, teasingly titled Spare, is set to be released on January 10, just weeks after the premiere of the couple's explosive Netflix series. The forthcoming book will also follow a series of notable installments from Meghan's Archetypes podcast series, which launched back in August. Ms Ellsworth said, they're playing victims, and people are getting tired of it. Eventually this financial model they've got of making money will run out because I think people will get sick of this. Ms Ellsworth, a writer for Sky News Australia, was welcomed on the broadcast by host Rita Panahi, who aired a similar view of frustration surrounding the Meghan and Harry documentary. Ms. Benai declared she had been living in a Harry and Meghan free zone, but she couldn't ignore how the political left were getting sick of the Sussexes. She highlighted a particular piece published by Politico, a left-leaning American-based media company, which included Meghan Markle on the list of 2022's top narcissists. Addressing rumors of Meghan's supposed plans to enter politics, Ms. Benai asked, if the left are abandoning Meghan, how is she going to have that coveted political career? Don't miss, the Politico article that discussed the Duchess was an opinion piece written by Joanna Weiss and headlined, 2022 is the year we all finally got tired of narcissists. Having watched the couple's Netflix series, Ms. Weiss reported, my natural sympathy for the couple started turning to irritation. She continued, the legitimate complaints are wedged between glamour shots, from footage of Meghan getting fitted for ball gowns to a vast collection of flattering photos and videos they took during their royal exit, apparently preparing for a photogenic tell-all. Meghan Markle was featured among a list of controversial celebrity figures, including Kanye West, Elon Musk, and Donald Trump. As Ms. Wise surmised, all of them used attention as currency and ego as fuel, and were rewarded, for a time, with what they craved. Read next.